Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to create an export fallback with export default. In the export lesson, you learned about the syntax referred to as named export. This allowed you to make multiple functions and variables available for the use in other files. There's another export syntax you need to know, known as export default. Usually, you will use the syntax, you will use this syntax if only one value is being exported from a file. It is also used to create a fallback value for a file or module. Below are examples using export default. So, named function, export default function add. And then anonymous function, export default function xy, return x plus y. Anonymous function. Okay, so you notice the, the difference between these two is that this one has a, is named by add, so it's a named function. And this one is an anonymous function. There's nothing here, so it's an anonymous function. Since export default is used to declare a fallback value for a module or file, you can only have one value be a default export in each module or file. Additionally, you cannot use export default with there, let, or constant. Interesting. The following function should be a fallback value for the module. Please add the necessary code to do so. The following function should be a fallback value for the module export default okay so basically all they want us to do here is say export default and the function of that and if we run the test we see that passes I don't know how to go into greater depth without uh, building that in a separate file and really going into depth with it so I'm just going to say that's good for this one hope you guys enjoyed that and we'll see you in the next lesson